first of all i like to thank the organizers to call me and giving this topic for discussion physicians health are we ignoring ourselves i think this is more pertinent if we compare from others physicians are the lot which take care of others but ignore themselves that is true and uh, we ignore ourselves and it is a personality trait why we ignore ourselves because physicians during their training it is it develops to them that they are superhuman they are not ordinary people that comes to their mind and they think that this is an intrinsic personality trait make it easy for them to ignore their own health they think that i cannot get sick typically doctors are high achievers no doubt about it they are high achievers they are most of the time independent and self sufficient it makes them ignore themselves they can be perfectionist with a tendency to overwork most of the time if you compare from other state of society they overwork and the these characteristics allow them to let work become their priority not the health that is not correct but it is happening and neglecting their own care and personal lives most of the time you see physicians are not uh, taking care of themselves they often view attention to their own needs as a sign of weakness if they think about themselves they think that it is a type of weakness we should not uh, live like that so neglection of health is again a personality trait physicians have traditionally neglected their own health in favor of their many professional and personal obligations and the culture of medicine promotes the belief that physicians are never ill this is the culture of medicine even they 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 uh, have their to take care of themselves and they, they hesitate to take it and nutrition is compromised most of the time it is not on time and not quality physicians are physically less active in comparison to other state of society so doctors do not adequately look after their own physical health reluctant to seek medical advice even if they have some symptoms or complaints and they are in euphoria they are the next to god and the society also project them next to god and in the same moment make them demon as well so they think that they cannot get sick most of the time superhuman concept is with them and denial if at all they have any symptom it is denial that no i can't have that it is not for me and the uh, basically this is concealment is also there they conceal the things they don't accept that i'm sick and taking chances they take chances no it will all thing will be good this type of approach is there and they most of the time they are thinking that the particular thing they are not in rational and what is happening that this attitude which was there there is some change has occurred that is a healthy change but not in india other part of the world the physicians have started thinking that especially the royal college of physicians and the american college of physicians they have started doing that and they have a special wellness clinics for doctors and they have again the wellness champion other other type of uh, uh, things there to that help to attain the health of physician but attitudes is shifting in the world and self care is now considered a core competency by the royal college of physician and surgeons in canada as well as also american college of physician so now the good thing is coming but in india we still have far behind so what research says what research says about this most studies have focused on their mental health less studies are available on physical health sleep deprivation and drug dependence depression and suicide more common in this uh, physicians than comparison to other part of the strata and i think most of the time our education system to of the uh, medical education system is also important and we all have witnessed that our friends which are we were studying with us they have lot of these problems mortality data show that most doctors die from physical rather than mental illness 
but less work has been done on the physical front. There are, however, limited data on doctors' physical health and their health maintenance behavior. So we have very less research available in this area. This is the area where more research is required. Some survey have been done in this survey involving more than 300 family physicians and internal medicine physicians as well as more than 1,000 U.S. adult ages, 18 and older, found that although 80% of physicians are practicing self-care, it's very important to them personally, only 57% practice it often, and about one-third do so only sometime. So the things are not very bright even in the U.S. Primary region, why it is occurring? The region may be the lack of time is the primary region regarding physician's health. And the physicians say that they are not able to practice their desired amount of self-care because of the time constraint. 72% think it is the time. And other barriers include mounting job demands, which are getting more and more, and burnouts. The additionally, almost half of physicians say family demands that interfere with their ability to practice self-care and 20% say they feel guilty taking time for themselves. They think that their time is, does not belong to them. Uh, then the health risk for doctors, they are almost same. Uh, the, the patients have the same risk doctors have. They are human and doctors are at additional risk because they work in frontline services where they may become targets for attack and that is why the disease are they are more prone to disease medicine also exposes doctors to a range of health risks and doctors can catch infectious disease from patients that's not very uncommon during covid times almost every doctor catch infection by their patient patients in addition, doctors often seem to neglect their own health care, with many studies showing that they underuse health services. They underuse health services. They do not take up screening or immunization as much as they could and believe they have particular difficulties in assessing services and they do not avail them. The other risk factors for doctors arise from the nature of medical work and definitely their work is one cause that they have Many health professionals report excessive workload, poor rewards, negativity in relationship. Working environment may exacerbate risk as factors catch choice of specialty, career, and other things are there. Some data I will present, they are data from my own university, King George Medical University, where I work. This data was collected when, it is not published yet. This was collected when I was superintendent. I thought that why the doctors uh, after just after retirement, I saw that most of our teachers just after retirement they died. So I thought that they are giving services, but they are not uh, not exposed to the, the various type of uh, the uh, investigations. So this data was collected at that time. We had 561 faculty, age ranges from 40 to 65 years. 66 percent were hypertensive. 66% of them were hypertensive, 26% diabetic. 21% pre-diabetic and 10% has CAD, 62% obese. That's what I'm presenting here was the diagnosis made when they were subjected to healthcare system. And 76% have body fat more than 25%. And 4% died within a few months of retirement. And even some of them died before retirement. 90% uh, have the refractory errors and 10% sleep apnea. 5% COPD, 3% cancer, 2% neurological disorders, 40% GI symptoms, 30% musculoskeletal problems, 70% sleep deprived, and 80% were receiving drugs for any ailment. That's data from when the drugs were distributed by the university itself. So I, I can assess that data. Only 39% have moderate physical activity. Physical activity is very less in them. They, they were teachers of medical college. So another study which was carried by the American College of Physicians India chapter, uh, Dr. Murthy and Dr. Alvi Maheshwari did that. And in that, it was found that medical practice data, they were connected. And here the practicing as a medical doctor can be a highly rewarding career, but with lot of price they had to pay. And during this data, health of health professional was uh, studied. And in this, it was found that a lot of you can see here that alcohol habits, smoking, exercise, exercise time, 
if it compare it is very very less in comparison to the other individuals so this data shows that we are deficient in healthcare we do not take care of ourselves the medical conditions again this data was from acp india chapter and this shows again hypertension was the most common then came the type 2 diabetes and then the dyslipidemia obesity all these problems you can see was very common this data was collected by a study done by uh, the acp india chapter dr murthy and professor maheshwari then the uh, the managed uh, to exercise in a day again exercise was very very less among them exercise uh, time was less and most of them were not having exercise some of them were having exercise but not up to that quantity then the number of times in a year go on a holiday with your family again it was very less most of the time physicians go to holiday only during conferences without conferences hardly they have a family break and they take a break out of their work and go for leisure trips that is very very less even it is their thinking that this is not correct we should not do that that is their own thinking then the number of hours managed night sleep again the sleep was very very less among them and this study again highlighted the same thing in contrast to other professionals they have very less sleep this is the another study was the prevalence of diabetes hypertension obesity among doctors and nurses in a medical college hospital tamil nadu india again you see prevalence of diabetes was found to be 25% in south india 5.6% among nurses prevalence of hypertension was found 29% again aging over the uh, diabetes among doctors and 13% among nurses so in comparison to nurses doctors are more prone to develop all these diseases prevalence of obesity was found to be 15% among doctors and 3% among nurses. again they are uh, worse so this data from Chen, uh, tamil nadu risk of diabetes mellitus in physicians and nationwide study in taiwan again so that in comparison among physicians emergency physicians among physicians emergency physicians and surgeons had a higher risk of diabetes than other specialties among the medicine uh, then how the things can be improved this was what I was talking, the things, the data is very less, we have not done enough studies, more studies are required, but how the things can be improved, what are suggestions, uh, this can be done by association level, all associations of physicians can try to improve this condition, employer level, employer must think doctors are human beings and they should not be subjected to many, many duties, residents are having duties 36 hours, 72 hours, that is not fair, and uh, the self-support one should develop and the more health checkups are required among doctors attention towards nutrition physical activity must consult a gp that is required they don't have any physician to their own for their own and better time management is required that is the most key for all this and more realistic feeling should be there they think that they are not superhuman they are just human so that was the i wanted to present thank you thank you very much Thank <laughs> you.